Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you how to develop Android app to make the flashlight on or off. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then here you can provide the name of your application. That is I am just giving here flashlight demo. Then you can choose the language that whatever you want to choose. Then you can click on the finish. Now I want to define some uh, design over here. So let me move to the activity main.xml. Here I am just defining some design portion over here. Let me uh, load my project first. Once the Gradle configuration and build model is done, I will define some design over here. Yes. Now first of all you can click on show layout decorations over here. Now I want to define, uh, now I want to move this hello world over here in the top. Then I want to define some uh, size over here that is text to size that is 40 SP. Then text style that is bold. Then text color that is primary dark. Then I want to change the text over here. This is this demo is related to flash light. Right? So I am just writing here flash light. Then you can add a toggle button over here. I'm just uh, moving drag and drop the toggle button over here. And then click. you can click on infer constraint. Now, whenever user click on this toggle button, uh, then on toggle button, then I want to on the flashlight on my mobile. And whenever user click on off, I want to off the flashlight. So let's start developing the code for the same. You can uh, move to the main activity.kt file. Now, first of all, we need to add the permission over here. Whenever we are developing this kind of project uh, that is accessing the uh, flashlight, we need to add the permission inside our manifest file. So, I am just moving to application manifest android manifest.xml. Here, you can define the permission first that is uses permission camera. Not only this, we need to check for the permission also. So I am just writing here if activity compact dot check self permission here uh, two argument are required in which context and which permission. I am just getting the permission that is manifest dot permission dot camera. If this permission is not granted by the user package manager dot permission granted if this permission is not granted then we will request for the permission so i'm just writing here activity compact dot request permission in current context you can uh, request the list of the permission i'm just uh, requesting the array of manifest dot permission dot camera then here you can pass the request code i'm just passing the request code that is one two three here you can write uh, override the method that is on request permission result. Whenever user uh, click on the allow, then what you want to do? So I'm just writing here one condition that is if request code equal equal one two three and grant result of zero equal equal package manager dot permission granted. If the uh, user has granted the permission, then what you want to do? So by default what I am doing see here I am just disabling the toggle button toggle button dot is enabled is equal to false whenever user granting the permission I am just enabling the button so I am just doing what the toggle button dot is enabled is equal to true then you can just uh, uh, write the else condition your ear also if the user has already granted the permission then your else case will be executed. In else case, you can just write toggle button dot is enabled is equal to true. It means once the code for your permission is checked, once you write the code for the permission that is camera, if the camera permission is granted by the user, then I'm just enabling my toggle button. Now, whenever you want to use the flash light, you need a one service and that service is the camera service. Uh, 
so i'm just uh, initializing one variable that is camera manager is equal to get system service and here you need to pass instance of camera service as camera manager now your cm variable that is camera manager is initialized now you can uh, just check in uh, you can write the code inside the toggle button whenever user click on toggle button then what you want to do so i'm just writing here uh, toggle button dot set on click, click listener whenever user click on toggle button if it is on then what you want to do so i'm just first checking for is a uh, flash light feature is available in that particular mobile so i'm just checking if package manager dot has a system feature is the function in which you can just pass one argument that is package manager dot feature camera flash if this feature is available then and then we will move forward right so if this feature is available then we will just check what the text of the toggle button so i'm just writing one condition over here if toggle button dot text equal equal on if the toggle button dot text is on then what i want to do i want to initialize one variable over here so i'm just uh, declaring one variable that is variable light is equal to true or you can make it false i'm just uh, uh, adding the value that is false by default if the toggle button dot text is equal to equal to on then we will just write what light is equal to true right else if it is false then light is equal to false i am just declaring my variable and i am just initializing the same you can do uh, write the conditional statement over here also right now i am just checking if build dot version dot sdk integer greater than or equal to build dot version codes dot marshmallow if the version is greater than or equal to marshmallow then i am just calling one function that is camera manager dot set torch mode is the function in which you just need to pass the two argument one is the camera id and another is do you want to uh, on the flashlight or not right so whenever the toggle button is on i want to uh, on the torch whenever the toggle button is off i want to off the flashlight so uh, here you need to f provide the first argument that is camera id that you can get using the camera manager dot camera id list of zero the first parameter of array camera id list first uh, index is for the camera id and here you can just pass your variable that is light now what happen if uh, toggle button dot text is on then the light will be on uh, it means the value will be true will be passed if the uh, toggle button dot text is off then the false will be passed it means the light will be off this is the way you can implement suppose if you want to write that uh, this code in a conditional statement you can just press here alter enter and it will uh, just say you that remove the redundant if statement you can just click on redundant uh, remove redundant if statement and what happens see uh, here light variable will be initialized with the tag toggle button dot text value if the toggle button dot text equal equal on then it will return the true and the true will be initialized to light if it is not on it means if it is off then the false will be initialized to light and then uh, that true and false i am just passing over here you can test your application in your actual device i am just testing my application on my actual device it is working properly or not let me execute on my actual device so what i am doing i am just connecting my actual device here and that is vivo let me execute this application on my phone you can click on run then here you can click on screen capture you can recapture it see it is asking me for the permission i am just clicking on allow whenever you click on allow then this toggle button will be uh, enabled now you can click on on or off so what happened whenever i execute this application in my phone whenever i click on on see the flashlight become on whenever i click on off you can just see the flashlight become off 
so this is the way you can implement application in your phone right see uh, you can just make on off on off right so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all